Hi friends, today we are going to see how to print Floyd triangle in Java. Floyd's triangle is a right angle triangular array of natural numbers used in computer science education. Here we have an example at row 1, 1 is printed, at row 2, 3, at next row 4, 5, 6, and so on. This is a theoretical example, and we can move to practical example. This is the code that we have written. Now we can go line by line to have the better understanding. We need to get the input of limit number of rows to be printed from the user. In order to get the input from the user, we need to use the scanner class. To use the scanner class, we need to import the package java.util. Scanner is an input class that is available in java.util package that is used to get the input from the console. How to create an object for a class? We need to create an object for a class in order to use the scanner class. This is the class name, then object name, then equal to new operator, then again a class name, and system.in. System.in is provided as an argument in order to get the input from the console. Here, it asks for the in input from the user. Now, s.nextint is provided. With the help of a scanner class object, we need to get the integer and store the value in n value. Whenever we get the this kind of pattern, we need to separate each thing as rows and column. You can see that in the example, one is printed at row zero and column zero. Two is at the place of row one and column zero. Then three is at the place of row one and column one. And four is at the row two and column zero and so on. You can see that row value is constantly increasing. That is zero, one, two, three. So we need to write the loop here. Then Next, you can also notice that column value. Column value is dependent on the row value. How means that in row 0, the 0th column is printed. And for one value, 0 and 1 is taken. And for 2, 0, 1, 2 is taken. So the row column loop should be placed at the inner loop of row. As we know, the temporary variable is used to print the values. Here, one is the first value printed, so we can in initialize the temporary variable to one, and we can in increment constantly. Here, temp is equal to one. Then the system dot output printer ln is given in order to separate the input and output printed in the common prompt. Here, i is taken as the row. In group and column for a column loop j is taken now for each row a column need to be printed at first row 0 is taken for row 0 j 0 is taken and the temporary variable as we know assigned to 1 the 1 is printed next temporary variable is incremented temporary variable is incremented to 2 here then the controls go here in j is incremented j is incremented 0 to 1. Next, it is not less than or equal to 0. So the controls goes from j to loop to i to loop. In i to loop, the value of uh, i is incremented to 1. Here, j value is executed again for 0 and 1. As we know, 0, 1, and 1 will be executed next. Now the column value is 0 and the temporary variable 2 is printed. And again, it is incremented. Now the j value is incremented to 1. Now 1 is less than or equal to i. So the loop continues. Here the temporary variable 3 is printed. And here it is incremented to 4. Now j value is incremented to 2. The i value is 1. And the j value is 2, which is not less than 1. So the controls moves from here to here. But the example, we can take that n value that is accepted from the user is 2. So 2 means 2 is not lesser than n. That is, i value is, should be lesser than the limit. So the control goes out and we, the result is printed accordingly. Here system.out.println is inserted in order to insert the new line at the end of each row. 
first one is printed and new line is inserted and then two three is inserted then again new line is inserted then four five six and so on we can now execute the result for example we can give the value as five you can see the result at row one one is printed at row two two threes are printed four five six and so on we have printed the floyd triangle using a java function hope you understand this video have a great day